in today's video let's have a quick look on how tent uh, could perform in the mobile virtual network market so let's have a quick look um, how about what uh, MVNO is a mobile virtual network operator is is basically a reseller for wireless communication services and an MVNO leases the wireless capacity in effect they purchase minutes from third-party mobile network operator at wholesale prices and resells it to consumers at reduced retail prices under its own business plan so right now dent is purchasing their data packages and voice minutes all from a, uh, a wholesaler called Aquito so once dent uh, gets the MENO license they will have um, more grip over the, the cost of the packages uh, that they buy because now they can buy directly from the mobile network operators so assuming Dent is launching as a MVNO in 20 different countries to start with so they will have direct uh, purchase of packages from the uh, mobile network operators itself so that is a good um, good interesting thing to observe because now they will get wholesale prices directly from the mobile network operators not then they don't have to go through any third party um, providers right now they get it from Akito so why are MENOs um, cheaper and how could they provide cheaper packages compared to uh, other providers so MENOs can offer cheaper prices on plans because they are not paying to keep up a network so what happens here is the MENO pays the network a certain amount to basically lease their towers and allow their customers to use that network. Uh, this is why they can offer cheaper plans and ultimately the same coverage. So that's a key thing. Right now, since they are getting it through Aquito, the package prices are quite high. If you have seen on the Dent app, you might have seen that some of the packages are priced really high. So lots of um, Dent community members used to ask why, why would someone buy uh, a package through the Dent app if it is priced twice that off if I had to buy directly from my provider that's a valid question so that's that's why that could that situation can change now because once Dent gets into start operating as a mobile virtual network operator they will have better uh, competitive pricing on the packages on the app at least for the first 20 countries that they are going to be launched as a eSIM provider So the mobile virtual network operator MENO market as of December 2018 there were 1300 active MENOs operating in 79 countries so representing more than 220 million mobile connections or approximately 2.46% of the total 8.9 billion operator connections in the world. So that's the MENO market is we are talking about roughly 2.5% of the total mobile connections and which accounts for around 220 million mobile connections. So this is the sort of market that Tent is going to get in uh, using their eSIM connection option. So from the recent um, trends um, on the mobile um, congress, mobile data uh, conferences where that, that the eSIM will um, be a major trending in the uh, next five to six years and if you look at the MENOs they have full control over the sim card branding marketing billing and customer care operations so an MENO buys network capacity usually as close to the base level as possible and invest in a service infrastructure of its own so that's the key thing here that I want to hi highlight here. So if you look at the top trend um, new technology enablers, so if you look at the top five trends for mobile virtual network operators, this is an article published a year ago. So out in that eSIM is mentioned as a key technology enabler and, and 
it could drive new opportunities for MENOS. So eSIM is, is pretty much highlighted as a key trend uh, in the coming years to go. So if you look at another article, um, which is about the market, mobile virtual network operator market in global trends. So, the, so there's a clean mention that uh, the MENOs have better control over how they could handle their customers and manage uh, and provide very competitive, lucrative packages uh, for the mobile users. So once Dent gets into uh, the MENO space, it will have a broader user base. So right now the users on the Dent are, are mostly for the freebies. Basically they get free tokens and then using the free tokens they buy. There isn't enough fiat revenue uh, as far as I could see. I don't have the data to prove it that I am right, but I'm just making it here. So if, once you have a MENO dent operating as an MENO with its own branding, uh, now there are quite a lot of chances that a lot of mobile users um, could come to dent um, start using dent network. The reason is they could get free tokens, which then could be uh, reused to buy free mobile data, basically. So that's a key thing here. So imagine, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the total MENO market is roughly 220 million connections in around 79 countries. So Dent is aiming to get a share of 20 countries in the 220 million uh, total count. So that, that let's assume that Dent managed to get hold of 1 million of the users onto their uh, Dent mobile network. And if everybody tops of like, so let's say um, the average revenue per user ERPU uh, from GS, GS, GM, GSMA mobile intelligence is data is roughly $10 per user. So assuming that 1 million user bring in $10 each for every month. That could account roughly for at least $10 million revenue every month, basically. So $10 million revenue on the books and assuming it for a year. So the annual revenue of for Dent uh, as a mobile network operator could easily touch 120 million a year. So a, a telecom company bringing 120 million on the, on the cash flow which is pure fiat, we are not talking even about crypto here. It's pure cash flow, fiat cash coming in from different countries uh, into the dense cash cash book, auto book, account book. So that is quite a lot. That could easily, um, with a, any tech company who brings 100 million above, is, is valued 10 times uh, its current cash flow on the books. So assuming if Dent brings 12, 120 million a year, uh, that is like, if I make it 10 times, it's 1.2 billion. Um, Dent could be easily valued if they manage to get 1 million users on their MUNO market, then, and assuming everybody tops up for 10 bucks, then Dent could have a, could be valued as a technology company at the, at 1.2 billion very easily. And uh, that would put, the market that then with a company with 1.2 billion revenue, I don't need to say what the crypto uh, kitties will start. Um, it will become very popular. So crypto kitties will, crypto nerds will start looking at it as a real business, you know. So there will be a huge surge of um, people start buying the tokens. Even the mobile users of Tent will start hodling the tokens inside their wallets inside their app basically so that is key thing here so imagine 1 million users each holding up to 10,000 tokens on the app that will pretty much lock 10 billion tokens um, out of the market and assuming the freebie is still continuing that, that would account for another another 20 to 30 billion um, out of supply and remember there are uh, the, on each scan, if you go and have a look, there are 27,000 wallet holders for of Tent, and they account for roughly 30 billion tokens are held in cold wallets, just not even in the circulating supply out of the 75 billion in the market. So out of 35, 75 billion, 
30 billion is already in the cold world it's not in the circulation so assuming 40 billion is what is being in the open market and with this MENO picture coming into the picture that's going to be a real organic um, pressure on the uh, buying side so that's when we can start realizing some real uh, price appreciation for dent and if you look at the other uh, MUNO space that dent is uh, playing if you look at the um, the list of uh, top telecom companies in the world so you can see uh, AT&T is on the top in the list with 244 billion USD uh, which is ranked one number one um, and if you look at the other one is Verizon Communications and this Comcast Corporation then we have China Mobile so all, all are in multi-billion dollar market so right now Dent is, 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 is a very small startup and they are going to get into this MUNO market uh, through the eSIM um, option that they are going to provide initially they are launching in 20 different countries so that is going to bring Dent uh, a good number of uh, users into the market so if you look at the uh, eSIM market by application so the, the the future is this is a global focus for 2023 so the connected cars laptops we are going to see some um, 5g enabled laptops coming in the future as well so smartphones tablets wearables automotive consumer electronics energy and utilities iot there's quite a be a lot of eSIM utilities are there so the overall eSIM market was valued at 177 79.6 million, million in 2017 and it is estimated to reach close to a billion by 2023 so that's the kind of market that Tent is trying to end, enter in through that MUNO positioning and these are the um, uh, some of the uh, T-Mobile this is the list of uh, T-Mobile MUNOs these are the mo virtual mobile operators which use T-Mobile as their providers um, so there you can see these are the MUNOs that Verizon um, is being used so it's pretty Tent is going to uh, pretty much get into this space uh, very soon not very far this is, we are expecting it uh, the launch of eSIM by end of this month so it, it sounds pretty uh, promising from what Dent is doing and you can see in India there is a company called Aero Voice uh, is providing MENO no? and and it's launched in a, one of these states in India called Tamil Nadu covering cities like this one so so this company is uh, pretty much is getting uh, as a um, MENO in India uh, so you know Indian market geo is, is crushing all the operators so in that highly competitive market even this particular company Aero Voice in India is trying to uh, launch their uh, MENO service in India so this which sounds pretty promising so Dent has a good chance of getting into the Indian market as well so uh, fingers crossed let's uh, stay tuned uh, on how and what's their plan for the eSIM launch in the next coming months thanks thanks for watching have a good day